Ann Feldman here from TT for T, and today we're going to talk about three different ways to get an image into your camera roll and how to use the Photos app. First, we're going to talk about taking a screenshot. This is done by holding down the Home button and the Sleep Wake button on the top of the iPad. Simply hold those two buttons down and it will take a screenshot of whatever happens to be on your screen. So I'll just take a screenshot of my opening screen. Did you notice it flashed? It may have even made a sound. Now you know that that image was captured on your iPad and it's now been put onto your camera roll at the very end of all of your photos. The second way to save an image is using a tap and hold technique. And we're going to take a look at that by actually going out to Safari. So let's go out there and we're going to search for an image in Google Images. So one thing I could do is type in the URL like images.google.com or I can come over and do a search for Google Images. So I'll just go over here and do a search for Google Images and let it just pop up to Google Images. Or again, you could have typed in images.google.com. And that will take us out here to Google Images where we can do a search. So today, I'm going to just do a search for something simple like volcanoes. So I'll just come in here and type in volcano and let Google Images do the work and find some volcanoes. Fabulous, look at all these great volcanoes. So to save one of these images into my camera roll, I'm going to tap on the image. So let's tap this one. And then tap it one more time so that that image is larger and isolated. And then we're going to do a tap and a hold. So take your finger and just kind of tap and hold on that image. And you'll see the save image and copy button appear. And we're going to just tap on save image and that will save that image into your camera roll. The third way to capture an image today that we will talk about is Photo Booth. Simply tap the Photo Booth app to launch it and then you'll find all kinds of fun ways to make your face look amazing and go ahead and tap one of them. Now to take a picture all you have to do is tap on the camera icon at the bottom of your screen. So go ahead and tap on that icon and that will take a picture. Notice that little flash? And now I've been added to that camera roll. Now the fun part about Photo Booth is you can also use the camera and take a picture of other things that may be in the distance by tapping on the icon in the bottom right corner and switching to the back camera where you can now take a look at the room that you might happen to be in and you can take a picture of that. So again, just tapping that camera icon in the center takes the picture and tapping that corner in the right switches you from the front camera to the back camera. To work with your images, let's tap on the Photos app and that will pull up all the images on your camera roll. Take a look across the top, you'll notice tabs such as Photos. I have Photo Stream, Albums, and Places. We're going to really focus today on using the Album feature. Let's tap on Albums, and in Albums, we're going to create a new album to organize your photos. Go ahead and tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner to create a new album. If you're using a shared model for iPads in your classroom, you could create an album that has your name on it. You can also create albums based on different topics, such as maybe math, science, English, history, or specific units that you're studying. I'm going to type in my last name for my album, which is Feldman, and I'm going to tap on Save. Now I have an album um, 
created called Feldman. And I did not tap on any photos or anything. I just tapped on done when that came up to just create my album. Now let's tap back onto photos so you can see your all the pictures in your camera roll. Let's say I'd like to organize some of those photos and put them in my album. To do that, tap on the edit button in the upper right corner. Tapping on edit will allow me to select photos and then choose where to put them. So for example, let's choose some of the photos I captured off the internet here. I could tap on that. Here's our screenshot we took and maybe my volcano picture. Now notice in the upper right corner I have a choice to add to. So tapping on add to, I can add it to an existing album or I can even create a brand new album. Today I just want to add it to that existing album I just made. So when I tap on add to existing album, all of the possibilities appear on my screen. So I'm going to tap on Feldman to put them into my Feldman folder and boom, there they went. Now if I tap back on the albums, I'll notice that now my Feldman folder has photos in it and if I tap on it, I have the three that I just put in there. Now tapping back on photos takes me back to my photos again. So again, if I want to work with my photos and um, put them into an album, I just tap on that edit button and it allows me to then tap and select the photos that I'd like. Perhaps I'll tap this one, tap on add to, existing album, and then you can put it into your own album. I'm going to tap on science and put that one in there. The other thing to talk about here in your camera roll is that if you do want to remove a photo, you do it the same way by tapping on the edit button to allow you some choices and then go ahead and tap the photo you'd like to work with. Now, if you tap the delete button, not only does it delete your photo from your camera roll, but it will also remove that photo from any album it might happen to be in. So keep that in mind that if I would delete this photo from here, it will also be removed from the science folder that this photo happens to be a part of. So it will say, if I delete it, it's going to be deleted everywhere. It even reminds me this photo is in two albums. So when you hit the delete everywhere, it is gone and gone everywhere you've ever put that photo. It's possible to do a little photo editing right here within your Photos app. Let's tap on a photo, and I'll just go ahead and tap on this photo of this volcano, and then there's an edit button in the upper right corner. That pops me in here with some editing choices. Notice across the bottom of the screen I can rotate my image, I can enhance my image. If there are people in it and I want to do red eye, I can also do red eye, or I can crop. Now cropping is when you can just grab a corner and kind of drag it in and you can get rid of maybe extra things on the edges or the sides. And I really like this grid. You can move your image around within that grid and again kind of move that cropping tool and you can get exactly what you like. When you have it positioned how you like it, tap on the crop button and it will go ahead and make those changes. And then if you notice, you have a gold save button in the upper right corner, and just tap on save to save that to your camera roll. Now if I go back into my photos, I'm going to notice I've now that saved image, so my original is gone. So that's one thing to keep in mind, once you do make those changes and they're saved, your original is gone. Thanks for watching, TT for T.